very little was done in terms of protecting that scene, that you must protect the scene until you finish with it. I did not see an inch of tape at the scene. Say so we got this story here where Smelly Smell is suing Randa Bob. Scott is this. Um, what Smelly Smell problem is, for the first time, she really get an offensive from an Indian woman. And you win or lose a case by at the scene where you have to process it thoroughly and you have to look for forensic evidence. And this case cries, cries out for forensic evidence. It was not protected. It was trampled on by Tom, Dick and B. Harry. Guess what? From tomorrow, is game fucking on. I gotta make sure the PPP win the next fucking election. Yeah, I remember fucking that. All right? And I like your mother scorn can sit on both of my dicks. I don't care. The, the information is that the police, um, this um, did not bring up fellow, Christoph did not bring up, shot and killed um, Quinlan Bacchus in a particular area. The statement, of course, the police issued two statements, two a conflicting statement. There's a lot of y'all on my fucking page because I's a coolie woman speaking against the PPP. Plenty y'all come my scum and follow me because I was speaking out against the PPP. You see, smelly smell being racist. She said in she in she thing she said what she said nature of case the action is for defamation harassment and personal injury the plaintiff is seeking permanent injunction and damages arising from the false remarks made by the defamation how, how is what else is this welcome back to the flight hit that subscription button buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in guyana and the diaspora thanks and i have been saying from that time that what needs to happen is that we need to have a proper investigation. You know, people have been calling all over social media. Some of the other people have been calling for charges to be laid, they say charge of murder uh, should be filed because the evidence is there. I am not sure that the evidence um, is there. And, and I'm saying that in a matter of that nature, you need to have a proper investigation to gather evidence because jump on charge is good. Satisfy the public that you have charged. But do you have evidence to even get past a preliminary inquiry? To get evidence. Because the, the information is that the police, um, this um, did not bring a fellow, Christoph did not bring a shot and killed um, Quinlan Bacchus in a particular area. The statement, of course, the police issued two statements, two, a conflicting statement. Now, the first statement issued by the Police Cooperative Communication Unit said that um, basically that the man was seen in acting in a suspicious manner and they put the police challenged him. He ran and defied the police. They returned shot, fatally injuring him. And then later on, I think within a few hours of that, another statement was issued to say this was an operation. And um, during the course of this operation, this youngster was shot and killed. So right away, you had some credibility issues on the part of the um, police in, in, in the release and in the account of what transpired. So that was on the 10th and, and shortly thereafter. We know from the reports and the, in the media, social media included, that villagers were out every night protesting or demonstrating or having vigil, whatever you want to call it. Every night they were out on these schools doing that. So it comes back to the question that you asked, what type of intelligence operation was being done by the uh, police, especially the special branch of the police? I don't know what was done. Um, do, can you, do you want to, 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 to make any comment at this point? Well, from my observation, if we go back to the crime scene, very little was done in terms of protecting that scene that you must protect the scene until you finish with it. I did not see an inch of tape at the scene saying, hey, police keep off as the case may be. And nothing at all. Um, 
and you win or lose a case by at the scene where you have to process it thoroughly and you have to look for forensic evidence and this case cries, cries out for forensic evidence it was not protected it was trampled on by tom dick and b harry and as and, and if you don't protect your scene body you're going to lose your case you can't find the the, the evidence as the case maybe the evidence is there you mentioned in a couple episodes ago about the lockhart tier of exchange something will remain there the poor picture would carry something there's a theory of exchange something there and you have to be a meticulous uh, let me digress a bit and tell you about being meticulous i used to have dialogue with retired assistant retired commissioner henry fraser now deceased and the officers mess every friday he used to go and drink and he used to be around there and he always would tell me young officer you must be meticulous you must be very meticulous and he referred to a case when he was at albion as a detective sergeant somebody raided a mount farm and carried some cassava so he went to the scene and he see several roots without cassava he had a land rover and take he took them and put them in his land rover and carried them to the station he said at the station the next day he received information who stole the the cassava and he executed a warrant on the man's premises and he found the whole set of cassava and he went back to the station and he and this man he started to get cassava and roots cassava and roots and they started to connect and the man said oh yes man you you good officer it's me tv cassava that the thing is that he said officers would have gone there and just kick, kick away the roots and left them there and the point is that you must be meticulous and I particularly the scene the scene is critical and i don't think they have done enough work in, from the inception at the scene of of of, of, of that sh fatal shooting well said well said meticulous processing of a crime scene is the same training i admit meticulous processing and in some cases it takes depending on the nature of the investigation it might take days to properly process a, a scene rising power to Quinn Dunn and condolences to his family and to all the families that are affected by this incident that is now back before the courts, now back before the courts and the judge and the jury to try to finalize what really took place, what really took place when this fateful incident took away one of the brothers of the soil one of such a young promising young man from the journey of life and sent him on an untimely demise now the officer the nabrigo is being brought before the courts again to face these charges but is that a situation that might end up letting him free on these charges because what the top cops them is saying is that even though it's good that the case is being brought up now, he might be freed because of technicalities at the crime scene. The crime scene allegedly was not processed correctly and might have been contaminated and might cause the case to be lost because of evidence tampering and the fact that the crime scene was not processed in a professional manner. No. How sad would that be? How sad would that be that a person might not see justice because persons were not professional on that day and the crime scene was compromised because of that? And if you haven't already, do remember to hit the like button and promote this video in the algorithm so that like-minded persons can find it and they can be updated with everything that's going on in this case. Why? Because it's important. Because if we don't pay attention, this might be another one that is swept under the rug. And guess what? Justice is not served. Hit the like button, promote it in the algorithm, and make sure that you stay updated every time we share content. Now we hear about this lawsuit that Auntie Melly Mel 
said that she was going to put down on Rando because of the things that were said in the back and forth that they had because of the incident with her presenting information that she would have gotten for allegedly from T. Muhammad that they presented on the Guyanese critic, allegedly. Now, this situation spilled over into a funeral service and all kind of other social media drama that is finally ending up with what? A federal court case for whopping one million US dollars. Now, if you break it down in GT money, there's like almost 200 and something million dollars you're talking about. That's real cheese. So, Auntie Melly Melly slapping away, allegedly, Rando for one million dollars. So, we got this story here where Smelly Smell is suing Rando Bob. this. <laughs> Um, what smelly smell problem is for the first time she really get an offensive from an Indian woman you see smelly smell being racist she said in she, in she thing she said what she said nature of case the action is for defamation harassment and personal injury the plaintiff is seeking permanent injunction and damages arising from the false remarks made by the defamation how how is what else is this but me i can see people whenever i want to but a lot of black people only drive my join my fucking thing because they like when i was cussing the ppp and i still do but when it's necessary i'm not gonna ride dick whole fucking day for what for free i got jobs i gotta walk my skull why you think? Anyone I pay my fucking bill, I, I hope when people start getting extradited to Guyana, I can't pay the fucking authority fee, trust me. Ray's gotta come into this because a lot of y'all on my fucking page because I is a coolie woman speaking against the PPP. Plenty y'all come I scunt and follow me because I was speaking out against the BPP. Um, plenty of vets that I don't anymore. The reason I stopped is because my followers, and I got followers from, matter of fact, not only fucking Ghana, all walks of fucking life, say, hey, we don't like the political thing, you know? Like, we love you, we're PPP, whatever. Can you tone down with that? And I did. So fuck all y'all that think. That y'all just joined fucking me because I was bashing the PPP. Eh eh. Guess what? From tomorrow, it's game fucking on. I gotta make sure the PPP win the next fucking election. Y'all remember fucking that. Alright? And I like your mother scorn can sit on both of my dicks. I don't care. Alright? Oh yeah! The wrong bring all the people we know I was born fucking PPP bitch. And I've been saying that mother scum. I was born fucking PPP. My father, a black fucking man, was PPP. My mother is fucking Amerindian um, and fucking Indian and she's PPP. She never, I never tell her I was fucking PPP when I start following and I was causing a mother scum. Eh, I was PPP fucking back then, so I still PPP now. I never changed. Why you think I am fucking vote for numbs? Cause fucking earth. Hmm? I think I'm stupid. Rick, I is scum with a fucking nobody. Why you got for fucking? He running for president. Yeah, he don't lose the fucking election. Ah, uh, more London, please. I hope you are recording this. I say. Record it now. I said, if not run for fucking presidency, I am down as PNC. Ain't no fucking way I win the fucking election with Narton. I said so. Melly Mel says so too. Alright? 100% <laughs> wild crafted CMOS. From nature, by natives. Why pay more? Look at the perception 
that is created about him by smelly smell. A fucking known entity degenerate hungry belly low life woman. <laughs> 